I will use this five minutes to quickly talk to you about a project that we've been developing uh, at Circle, which is called Skill Edges. And this tool is meant for you to design and run cyber exercise meant for MISP. So this tool is composed of actually two applications. The first one is uh, the scenario editor, which allows you to create your own scenario. And the second one is the live dashboard that allows you to monitor in real time and to run the actual exercise. So how does it work quickly behind the hoods? Uh, so basically, um, MISP, if you attended the pre previous presentation, uh, it has a nice ecosystem for integration. And in this ecosystem, we have the zero MQ channel, which is a pub sub channel where MISP produces messages containing anything that happened on the platform. And you can, have an, you can have scripts that subscribe to this channel and consume these messages and take actions. And this is exactly what Skillages is doing. So it's plugging into MISP seeing everything that's going on, a bit like a, a syslog, basically, and then it processes information. And then the tool, Skillages, uses the API of MISP to interact, get more information, and see what users have done. So I will quickly do a short demo, and I guarantee it, I'm not gonna do live coding. Don't worry about that. All right, so this is the tool. So you have the live dashboard and the scenario editor. So scenario editor, you see you have the list of scenarios that you can have. Right now, these scenarios are already available on the repository, but obviously you can create more scenarios. I will show you what it looks like. So if I take, for example, this one, the Fluidbot malware, you can configure some meta information, like namespaces, um, le, the level that uh, attendees should have to do that scenario, some meta information, and some injects. And then you can design it. And in this interface, you can design what participants need to do. So keep in mind, we are still talking about the MISP concept. So in this case, they are supposed to, like the, the, the players are supposed to encode information in MISP. So for example, we have phishing uh, SMS, uh, may should say PK, and so on. This is where you design stuff. This is where you also put triggers, where when this injects could be like checked or run if there are any requirements between the different injects, so if one inject needs to be completed before the others, and so on. Uh, and you can obviously test your evaluation using the different uh, uh, evaluation strategy that we have. I won't delve too much into details, but just to give you a quick overview of the tool, and if you're interested, you can always uh, check the repository later. All right, so that was for the editor and for the live dashboard. Uh, it basically shows you all the users that are currently playing, um, everything that they are doing on the application. And you can, for example, select uh, an exercise. If I take, for example, the flu bot malware. Now I can see all the users and if they have validated uh, some exercises, I can put it in full screen so that it looks nice when you are like give, doing some hands-on or if you are running an exercise and you can see in real time who completed what uh, and, and when. It, you can even interact with the, the application to quickly see uh, and to quickly validate some injects. All right. So we can see inject being validated, you have a small feedback, so it's, it's great. So these are the backup slides that I quickly did because I had some bad experience this morning. Um, anyway, so this, I just show you version 1.1, uh, 1, and this one has been released uh, three weeks ago, and it added new nice stuff like the support of Docker so that you can just do a Docker run and it will start your the application. We've in introduced new scenario, and we've also started to improve the support of other tools. Because initially these tools had really the mindset of using MISP, but we've added the support of Suricata. I will explain quickly how we did that and what it does. Um, and then some few improvements for UI and dashboarding and so on. So what do I mean by how, uh, when we integrated Suricata? Basically, when you have a user creating data in MISP, uh, MISP will forward that information through ZenQ to skill edges. Skill edges through the MISP API will get all the data that was encoded, export it as Suricata rules, and then run it on the Suricata system by using the option, uh, the flag simulate IPS, and based on that we will get what would have been blocked, and, and then Suricata reports back to skill edges, which then validates if the player actually created a rule that 
block malicious traffic. So that's more or less the whole idea. So now that we've integrated that, uh, we open the door for new integration with other tools. For example, Ail framework that I mentioned this morning, but if you have any tools that you would like to have integrated in this tool for training purposes, uh, I mean, get in touch and we can help you uh, set that up. So what's next in the next version? More scenario. And I'm hoping to do a large scale test because so far we've only tried it with 80 players at one time and we are hoping to, to try it uh, on like something like 200 players. And so if you're interested in the repo, you can scan, scan the QR code because again, it's an open source software. And that's it for me. I think I'm done. Thank you very much. I mean.